What's up guys and welcome back to the channel here at Decent Garage. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the official break-in procedure for the XR400. Many of you know I just rebuilt the top end of it. Uh, I'll link that video above right now. A uh, full tutorial on how to do that. There's also a couple other videos from Rocky Mountain ATV and Partzilla that were really good that I used as well that helped in that. So there's some resources out there on how to do that. Now saying that, there aren't a lot of videos on people breaking in these bikes. And uh, I think I found out why. The reason I think is because this is quite a controversial uh, topic. Uh, what procedure to do? A lot of the factory manuals say to do it gently and, and really not overdo it. But a lot of the stuff I've read uh, to have better results is to really uh, put the bike through the paces in the first couple hours of using it. So. I've done some research. Moto Man, he had a great write up on some of the forums. Uh, I'll link that below in the description. Uh, also, the guy from Partzilla who does tutorials, he had a really good video on kind of talking you through how he does it. So, I'm going to use kind of a hybrid procedure, um, but we're going to break this thing in. As we go through every step, I'll kind of put notations on the screen of what I'm doing and uh, each procedure. We'll see how long this video is uh, 20, 30 minutes, I don't know, but uh, we're going to break it in.
that was cold. Uh, that was, it's cold out there, but that was super fun. It felt good to be back on the bike. It runs awesome. Uh, the valves are silent. It'll pick up the front wheel, which it never used to do. Um, I had to really be careful of how much throttle I was giving it because I'm really not that experienced of a rider, but we're gonna keep going in the process. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit the like button on this video. Uh, I'm out here doing this in the freezing cold for you guys, so make sure just like the video and then we'll move on to the next steps in the process. All right, so that was about 20 minutes worth of riding. Uh, you guys saw what I did. Now we're gonna let it cool down completely. Then we'll do a longer period, not consecutively, but we'll run it for three to four hours and that can be in bouts of 20 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour, or whatever, just as I would normally ride it. And then we're gonna change the oil in the filter and then it should be good to go. Look at that view, guys. It does not get old, I can tell you that much. So let's see how it starts up today. I'm gonna full choke it. Let me get put the Crocs in four-wheel drive so we can kick this thing. First kick, huh? Right, guys there you have it so I've put about an hour on it so I'm gonna put another hour or two on it and uh, change the oil and that should be good to go so like I told you guys at the beginning this is somewhat of a controversial procedure uh, comment below let me know what you think about how I did it how does it compare to how you would do it or how you've done it in the past um, Let's get some dialogue going in the comments. But I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like the video before you leave, and we'll see you guys in the next video.